Hi everybody, welcome at this range of tutorials for the machine MK3 hardware and the latest machine 2.7.3 software, the free update. As usual, free. So um, this tutorial is just about, um, it's not really a tutorial, I'm just going to show you the interface of the machine. This is for if you're completely new with the machine. You know it can be a bit overwhelming because um, well, maybe you used uh, Ableton or FL Studio, Studio One, Bitwig, Pro Tools, Reaper, whatever out there. You know, machine looks a bit different, so you can be a bit confused once you uh, when you see it for the first time. And also, when you're completely new with the uh, music production in general, uh, this is a good video for that to get familiar a bit with uh, with what is what. So in the next videos, they're gonna be. Um, we're gonna start at the basic. That is this. That is it. That is this. So, um, if you're already familiar with machine, this might not be interested. Is interesting for you, but uh, the next videos will be so um, because we're gonna go from start from the basic to advanced, and um, we're gonna do everything from the hardware controller. So, um, it should be interesting. Probably something that you didn't know. And you think like, hey, I wish I knew that before because it saves me time and or it's a nice feature or whatever, you know. So um, anyway, for now, let's just start with having a look at the interface. Um, if you're over here, you got your browser and you got your library and files. Files are the files from the computer, from your hard drive. You can load and import stuff from the computer itself also. More about that later. For now we're using the library and we're using the factory library like this if you push on this that will be the user library all the stuff you save will be in there so a project a project is basically uh yeah a project you are working on you know you're working on a track that's called a project and it can be a finished project but it can also be uh yeah a track in progress so so if, if you start working on it and you save it, it will be in the user content. So um, then we got your groups. Wait, let's have a quick look when we load some up, one, one up. You see, that's how a project looks like. And that's where it starts to get confusing because mainly we work with scenes and patterns and stuff. It's not linear, but uh, anyway, you got your groups. A group is basically a drum kit. As you can see in here, you got 16. Well, you got 16 pads on the controller, so obviously you have 16, 16 slots in here that you can load with uh, with sound samples, uh, vocals, and whatnot. And you know when you hit the pads, or or you press or your mouse, which is not meant to be, but if you hit the pads when you're recording, it will show these notes. Right, so then we got the sounds. Sounds can be anything, you know. It's basically samples uh, with uh, with effects and whatnot, or it can be anything. A sample is basically a dry sample. You need to uh, add everything yourself. We got uh, the instruments. Let's do it the other way. Uh, instruments. It are virtual instruments, so you know you call them VSTs or plugins. Uh, the nice part about the machine these days is that it comes with complete 11 select and um, it has uh, pretty cool content it costs 200 uh, by itself if you would buy it separately so it's really nice that they give that for free with machine so you already have some plugins even if you just bought it and completely new I got complete 11 ultimate and then it looks like this Oh, also in the user content, you will also find in there uh, third-party content, like uh, machine expansions from uh, from third parties, not from native instruments, or sample packs. Or when you import them and install them, they will be in the user content. And you got your effects, and we got the samples. So um, do I want to say something about? Yeah, I want to say something about that. Let's have, let's say this. Um, 
beneath here we got the speaker icon that's a prehear function which is very convenient because if you twist a knob from the controller basically then you hear the sounds before you load them so that can save you a lot of time you can adjust the volume also so that's pretty convenient because else you need to load it every time listen load listen load listen now you just twist your knob i don't know what he was saying but but that was pretty annoying sound <laughs> anyway so uh, that's pretty convenient um, I always have it turned on because it saves you a lot of time so that's a browser let's have a look what's what's to do here this in here is your automation section if you automate effects and stuff it will show in here also in this case you know in this case it shows the velocity if you automate effects it will be shown in there Uh, this is the basically where we're gonna start with creating music. This is a drum kit, you know, a group, a group, a group is basically a drum kit, as we said. So um, with this, you're gonna start the first steps of making a track. You're gonna build patterns, as you can see. You're gonna make more than one pattern, and you see these changes in here maybe in pattern one you only want a kick let's say you're building an intro and you only want a kick but you still want to use this this uh, drum kit so you use pattern two you're gonna hit a, a hi-hat a snare uh, whatever you want pattern three some more stuff you know pattern f uh, pattern five it says this should be pattern four <laughs> Anyway, so you hit you you add more stuff and then over here in the scenes then you can choose which pattern you're gonna use. As you can see in here, in here you start with pattern five, then to pattern two, pattern three, pattern five again. So it's completely up to you. More about that later. So anyway, so that's the basically the drum kick section which you will also have your keyboards. <coughs> Oops, sorry if that was a bit loud. And your sampler section, if you want to sample audio or whatever. And then over here, over here, we got the parameter section. And you can, um, you know, you add effects in here. As you see, EQ, all that stuff. You add it and it will show in here. And you have it for the sound for the group. Nothing on this group. Maybe on this one. No, also not. Wow. This is a bad example. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can use it on the group. And you can use it on the master. You know, limiter on the master. Okay, that's nice. So that's basically that. Uh, something I wanted to say also is like if you go in here, it goes from arrangement view to mixer view. And then you see those effects also, and you can tweak them from in here. You see, you see all the chain. And we have the sampler, more about that later. The machine sampler, real powerful, real nice. Uh, while we're in here, will I show it now? Yeah, let me show it now. You see, this is the mixer view. Let me here play. Let me turn the volume down a bit so you won't scare too much. see all the levels from each pad from each group and we have a master so here's your ears where you want to do the final mix you want to do this a bit lower you know change some stuff until it sounds perfect so that's the parameter section one of our velocity 
and over here we got the arrangement section and we have two views we have the id view as you can see in here pattern one two three five six six for some reason you know you can build an id in here and when you want to go build the track you're going to do that in here in the arrangement view you can change this all you know like this would be the, the intro you change the colors also now maybe you want the intro to be yellow you know the breakdown uh, blue the the first uh, one uh, yellow or no you already had yellow but whatever you want it's just for the visual looks same goes for every uh, every group oops now you can change the colors from each group and from each sound so that's pretty nice um yes oh, something else i wanted to show you by the way mm, i will do that in the next video let's keep this one as short as possible because i think it already gets a bit long so um yeah show or hide the browser you got your drop down menu in here where you can open stuff new save save as basically you won't need this because you will do the most of them with the hardware as i will show you in the next videos so um you know export export your uh, when you're done you want to export it you do that in here you got your preferences in here in here also but real quick uh, transport buttons over here you know play record a bpm metronome uh, and whatnot we will go into detail about this later also also about this you know you got your pedal length audio and midi drop rank drop then your master volume and your cpu uh, when you play it you will see a slight movement in there uh, the more vsts you load uh, the higher it will go and it basically is how much power does machine use from your computer so when it's all up all when it goes into the red it's not good um, we have some tricks for that which i will explain in a later video also um, and um, yeah also when you hear a, a distorted sound you know uh, clicks and pops and when it doesn't sound good go to the preferences and then you will go to your audio interface and here you see the latency you know when you hear the clicks and pops and distorted sound you want to raise your latency and when you raise that um, you raise it until the point um, it sounds good yeah I still so um, yeah you got your general settings in here you know reload the last project if you wanna if you're working on something now and you tomorrow and you end it and tomorrow you want to start uh, the way you finish today if that's box that's the way it will load tomorrow so you can get right on with how you was you know metronome settings all that stuff we'll go into detail about it later as i said your uh, audio devices your midi devices if you uh, maybe you have a midi keyboard which was showing here also you know all the midi devices inputs outputs the default settings for the projects maybe you have uh, created um, a few nice drum kits with uh, with your favorite kicks your favorite snares your favorite uh, claps your favorite cowbells your favorite whatever you can uh, save that and you can select it in here and make that your template and uh, every time you will open machine it you will start with that content so that can save you a lot of time same goes for the plugins you know uh, you can do with the metronome it's that standard sound you can maybe you want to upload a sound that you like you can do that oh i just farted <laughs> don't know where you can hear that i hope not at least you can smell it i can anyway um yeah so your scenes pattern length stuff mm. library everything that you have inside machine is listed in here 
you know it has a uh, it has a direction to your uh, to your hard drive <laughs> that you use can user contact and the factory guide content if now if you have a problem um when you do something in machine you got you get this message like uh yeah whatever message in a sample not found or this or that not working always go in here and hit rescan first that's the first thing you should do if you run into a problem hit the rescan usually that will solve the problem not always of course but it's the first step to do first do that if that doesn't work then start troubleshooting the plugin section like all these plugins that are boxed they will show in the browser now so if you have a lot of plugins um, maybe a lot of them you never use or some of them to narrow the thing down in your uh, in your browser you unbox them that way they won't show in your browser obviously hit rescan after unboxing and then they won't show in your browser so you won't have to deal with them again and if you think okay i need this plugin you just box it you do one or more you uh, you box it again and you hit rescan again and it will show in your browser again the hardware well i got machine mk3 hooked up you know you can change your pads touch, touch sensitivity stuff the led brightness display brightness uh, the touch sensitive knob knobs uh, also what I wanted to say is like this uh, machine mk3 comes with a with an audio interface so um, it also comes with a with a power supply you don't need to hook it up um, the only thing when you do plug it up it saves your computer some uh, some power because it will use the power from the from the power socket and also the thing is the screens will be a bit brighter so but you don't need to plug it in. I never have a plug in. And then as last, before we're gonna end this long, 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 long video. Sorry for that, but yeah. Um, you've got your scenes colors. You know, by default, I have them white, but you can also have them, yeah, just like anything in every color you want. That by default they load uh, in, in pink or in I don't know what color that is. That's pink. Yeah, anyway, whatever color you like. Um, in here, as you see, they're all blue. I changed that one to yellow. You can do the same for the groups, and you can do the same for the sounds. I always have them at auto, so it will show that nice uh, rainbow sculpture. I like that. <laughs> but that's just me. Maybe you want it to be all purple or whatever. So let's leave it at this for now. Um, I hope it's a bit clear to you now what the machine exactly uh, is uh, regarding the interface. And in the next video we're going to start building a track. We're going to make patterns and, and we're going to do everything from the hardware. And of course I'm going to video the hardware as well as the as the big screen. So, so you see everything I do on the hardware. You can follow the steps. And you can see on the big screen also uh, what it does. So yeah. Let's leave it at this for now, and uh, I hope to see you in the next videos. Um, if you're new with the with machine again, uh, hit the subscribe button so you uh, so you don't waste any time searching on YouTube and stuff for old videos and um, videos that aren't correct and whatnot. Just get good stuff and it saves you a lot of time. Create your playlist, whatever you know. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day and have lots of fun with machine it's a great device i want to congratulate you with uh, buying it uh i would say congrat yeah anyway uh, <laughs> have lots of fun with it and uh, see you in the next video all right thanks for watching bye